What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I'm down at a creek that I like to fish, but I like to fish it way, 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 way downstream. As you can hear, that water's just trickling through here. It's not really flowing really hard. We had a rain a couple days ago, so that might be why this water's kind of running. But as you see back here, there's a little pool. And this is a higher elevation. This is basically where the creek starts. Um, just on the edges of, of San Antonio and I talked to some old timers and they said in these little holes that are hard to get to, there are some crappie. And I don't know if that's true or not because I have not caught any crappie downstream, but it's worth a shot to try to figure out and see if there are some in here. But I know there's gotta be some bass and bluegill and probably cichlids and other stuff, but let's go upstream here to these little pools and just hike around and see if we can't catch some fish. So let's go. All right, we're gonna creep up on this first little hole and see if we can't maybe catch something. And of course, I've got an older rooster tail that has been a lucky lure for a really long time, and luckily I haven't lost it, but it's got that chartreuse blade, so I'm hoping that it'll bring in some good strikes. This water's fairly clean right now, so let's see if we can't catch something. And this is an older spinner, so it's spinning somewhat, but it's not spinning as slow as usually I like to spin them. I've got some newer rooster tails that I might have to tie on here to get that slow, slow, slow rolling presentation. I see a couple bluegill down in there, but they're not but three inches long, maybe. Oh yeah, I'm seeing something right over there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a different rooster tail to tie them. Oh, there's something. Little bitty guy. <laughs> Well, there's one. We found something in here at least. Thanks, bud. And the, the, one of the main reasons I like this spot is because it is probably no pressure whatsoever just on the outside of San Antonio. So if you fish near cities, you've got to learn those spots that are lower pressure. There's another one. What we got this time? Oh, another bass. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Almost got you in the eyeball. He must have swiped at it. Oh, saved his eye. Thanks, bud. Oh, look at that. Woo-wee, that looks nice, but let's get over here a little bit further and see what it looks like. I'm going to get a little bit better picture of it. Oh, what should I fish? right side or this left side yeah that's the only way I'm gonna get a cast is if I go up here oh man oh, that's the only problem about a deer trail oh, it can duck so low oh there could be crappie in here Look at the depth of that water, it looks deeper. Nothing yet. Really all I can cast to is right there. I do not like spots like that. Those are perfect spots, higher up off the ground, the little dens. Ooh. Gotta watch out for snakes around here now. That is a killer spot for a rattlesnake den. Here's another little spot. Almost looks like a little pinch point right here. I don't know if there's any fish in here, but man, this water is starting to look so good around in here. It's going to be tough to get a cast off, though. Dang. All right. Make a couple casts right here. Oh, big old carp. That's the first fish I've even seen.
Oh, we got something right there. What do we get? Bass? Yep, got us a little bass. Finally. So they do live in here. Ooh, he feels cold. Still feels cold. Thanks, bud. Right off a tree right there. There's a little limb. This is a good spot. I thought this might be a decent spot with this little pinch point like this. Well, I found another hole right there, but before I hit it, there's a little spot right here with some little deeper holes right here. So, I mean, yeah. Oh, big old vulture right above me. Let me jump. Let's see if we can get a cast off here. Always running. <laughs> Another good run. Whew. This place has grown up down in here. Let's see what it looks like. Not really any good size ones right there. We gotta go find us a little hole over here. Thanks to these deer making this path along the side. And we're gonna have to make it up that hill, so we'll come right over here. It looks like there's a little hole right here, so we might come over and hit this and call it a day, but hopefully we get one out of this little hole over here. It's not that deep at all, at all, but I mean, we can see if we can catch one. Might be two foot deep. Whew, man. It is hot down here in this bottom. It is really starting to warm up. And as you can see, if you can see up on top of this hill, everything is starting to grow. The flowers are really popping if you see all those yellow flowers up in there. But I fished this little backwater all the way. This is where it really narrows down. It's not really flowing through here. So it's got that little scum type stuff on the top but this kind of ended up being more of kind of an adventure for me to kind of find some spots that might be a little bit less tracked by other people and maybe be holding some good fish there's some good holes down here i've got some more way upstream that are just little pools that kind of get filled back up whenever it floods but this is where the start of the creek is so there's there's definitely fish in here, but I just did not see them through the deeper sections and no crappie unfortunately, but we did catch a couple bass, but thanks you guys for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.